I'll select the area, delete the lines, all right, and then deepen it. Select it again, go back to fill, deepen it. See, there you go. All right, so let's go to the uh, the face, all right? So now we're in it. So we can just use a, a, a fill color for now, like a, a golden yellow, all right? There you go. So now we need some gradations. Notice that there are two areas here, like this little, this is like a, a, a different, um, more than likely a, a highlight that was added on another layer. Same thing with this. So let's just give the face a little gradation just to give it some volume. So we select that area. Uh, notice it's on solid. We don't want that. We want radial gradient. See that selected the colors for us. Now, how are we going to create this gradient? We're going to pretend the um, it's gradating. This is the central point right here. Okay, so let me use the brush tool. So we're going to say this is where the center, the highlight, the brightest area is, and it's gradating in this way out. Okay, so how will we do that? Then let us. Actually, I think I like the highlight on it already. Um, let's use the gradient transform tool and move the center. This is the center where the brightest area is. See, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna move it so you see how it works. See that? So I'm gonna move it to right between the eyebrows. Well, maybe a little bit uh, there. Something like this, like so. All right, and maybe stretch it out a little bit. Actually, not that way. Maybe this way. All right? Yeah, I think that's that's more like it. Yeah, there you go. So now we don't want blue, of course. But see, if you wanted blue, that's what you would do. See, it has three blues. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna replace uh, these blues with yellows. So let's use a bright yellow. Let's use a darker yellow and then a, another yellow here maybe like something like like that actually that doesn't seem to quite match it but you get the idea all right something like that see and this is another thing too you, you can click on each one and still control the value this is the value of the color so you can make it a dark color or light color you can click on this and make it a darker color or not you see what I'm saying can do that like so. All right, but that's that's generally how you go about it. You keep you know messing around with colors until you get something that looks like the color you want. All right, stroke, and let's make it something like this. I think we used something like that before. Uh, maybe it's not that. But that's pretty much how you go about it, guys. Alright? You just keep playing around. You know, until you get see? Until you get obviously I think this this is a little bit thicker, so we can make it a two. Something like so. Alright? And then <clears throat> See this highlighted area? I'll show you how to make this really quick. This is done by making a, let's make another layer and I'll show you how you do it. You can make another circle, for example. Use the oval tool um, and make a circle or oval like, like so. I'm going to position it. So it matches the position of that one. So it's like so, right? And then what I'm gonna do is notice the the filling it has is like a, a bright uh, light yellow, and it fades to it fades into the color of the actual thing, right? And how how do you create a fill like that? I'll show you. You go to fill, fill it in, right? Like so. And then we're going to change that fill. Actually, I'm going to change the stroke really quickly. So that, there you go. And then 
you go to color and this is what you do now this is the fill now where you have it faded out you have it say for example um, it's fading from a bright yellow to you can just have two actually I think you can it's okay to have two it's gonna fade from this bright yellow to nothing how do you create how do you make it fade to nothing this you select it and where you see this a it means alpha and alpha in Adobe Flash or Adobe programs mean transparency and you bring it down to zero right and then you click away and you'll see you'll see the effect it's gonna have so you make this a bright yellow like so actually a more close to really close to white something like that and then of course you have to control where the gradient is see how large it is you don't want it to be that big but that happens sometimes so you have to bring it in and sometimes by default it just seems really huge and it sucks because you have to still zoom out and find it find where the center is so I'm manipulating the, the center that's why it seems like a flat color right here and you'll see that change in a little bit you see, you see that it's starting to change because the the radius in other words if you already imagine this being the diameter of a circle and this being the center and this being the edge of the circle basically it, in other words they're saying this is a huge circle but I don't need a huge circle for this little shape okay I need it to be a lot smaller see this makes it like a oval shape like so I don't want that all right I need it to be remain a circle like so and obviously <clears throat> whoever created this would be doing the same thing they'd be playing around with it you know does it look good here does it look good there should I put it more in the center should I put more at the edge you know should I make it more like a shape like so should I make it more a shape like so and so on and so forth and that's that's how you go about it okay like like with here for example you could um, Let's see what I could fill this in with. Uh, fill it in like so, or fill it with something like this, and then you could make that a gradient. I wouldn't want the lines around it anymore, and then you could add some more color there too you could make this a lighter make this a kind of golden yellow like so zoom in so we can have a better idea of what we're doing here <clears throat> that yellow Okay. <clears throat> you know, and um, basically that's how you'd play around with that. You could make this shape, um, but as I said, of course, you know, whenever you're doing this, you'd, you'd of course, it's, you're gonna have to spend a lot more time on it to get it, you know, get it right. But it's just a matter of like playing with, playing around with it, and that's what you know some of the best ideas come about because you just start you just mess around with things and you just see how they come out you know um, you just mess with it you just mess with it um, see you can you can even change the direction of things all right so like with this you could change it around like so see that it's, it's, you know, you just you just have fun with it, all right? 
Um, <clears throat> same thing you, you could see, and, and I would apply the same fill here. Actually, I'm trying to find the um, the layer that has, and that's another thing that I didn't do that I would generally do when I'm working. I would label all these layers so I know, you know, what I'm working with, where, and so on. All right. Always do that. <clears throat> Actually, I could just copy this and paste it. Bring that, uh oh. Bring that here. And also, you know, you can you can shape this how you want. That's another thing. Um, maybe I didn't tell you guys. You can shape this, all right? You can shape the different areas. You can still curve this around the way you want. Play around with it, you know, stuff like that. I'm gonna shape this. Several ways you could do that. You can use the erase tool. You could do like so. See what I'm saying? You can do that. And so on. So you know, you can you know you can see how you well hopefully you guys got an idea of how you can, you know, make different gradations and stuff like that from this. <clears throat>